Carrier D-Lab here to show you a fix for a defective push-to-talk system in a Johnson Valiant transmitter. This one behind me, the push-to-talk is in-op. Let's get in there, find out what's causing it, and I'll show you how to fix it. So I've got the D104 hooked up, but there's another problem with the Valiant. Push-to-talk is not working. But if I were to manually turn it on, getting all kinds of modulation out of the radio. So that's a good sign. So next step is got to investigate why the push to talk is an op. So the first thing I obviously would check would be the coil of the push to talk relay. And there it is, about 2K. All right. So that measure is good. Now if you look at the schematic, it shows that when you hit push to talk on your microphone, it's supposed to ground one side of that coil. So I'm going to take my meter, go to ground, hit the push talk, guess what? Nothing. Let's check the other side. Once again, nothing. Now for the heck of it, let's flip the manual transmit switch. And you can see that also does not ground this coil. Now, let's go across the coil with our meter. We got our 2K. I'm going to flip the transmit switch and look at there. It shorts out the coil of the push to talk relay. What the heck's that all about? So, somebody has miswired this thing. Let's take a close look at what's going on under here. Alright, so here's the back side of the manual transmit switch. All right. And you can see there's been some magic going on here. Somebody's cut into the wire harness and spliced in a two conductor shielded cable in a gray jacket. And it goes down here, all the way down, swings around here behind the filter caps, and ends up somewhere around the push to talk relay. But it actually does not activate the relay at all. So I'm going to have to unravel this mystery. I don't know why they would have done this, but I'm sure once I dig into it, I'll figure out why. So looking at the schematic, here's our mic jack, and pin 2 is the push-to-talk line, and that zings over here. It's supposed to ground that relay coil. And then there is the switch, which is the manual transmit switch. He's supposed to do the same thing. But right now, it appears as though this switch is wired across the relay coil. It shorts it out. So it's been miswired. I don't know why, but it's going to be a great mystery to figure out. All right, I believe I'm narrowing down what's going on here. This is actually a 120 volt AC relay coil. Obviously, you don't want to put 120 volts AC through your microphone contacts, right? So somebody obviously changed this out at one time, put in the wrong relay, discovered it wouldn't work, so they put in this little cable and just bypassed it as it goes up so you can flip it on and off at least with a manual switch. So I'm going to have to pull this relay out, find one that will work, and rewire the push-to-talk circuit. All right, well, I had somebody join me here in the shop. Sometimes she goes by tube amp girl, sometimes you're short wave girl. So I don't really know what your character name would be at this point. However, Emmy's been with me and I've been showing her this Valiant repair. And what I'm going to be doing at this point is changing out that relay, which we know is the incorrect one for the radio. So what I'm going to end up doing is installing this relay, which Emmy just helped me build, so we actually perf board a 5 volt relay, and this is going to be installed in the radio for the push to talk action. So you got to solder for the first time, right? Right. What do you think of that? It's really cool. That it's real. It was really fun. Did you like taking that 700 degree iron and touching your finger and watching your flesh bubble? I never did that, and that's <laughs> gross. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what do you think about? working on this old stuff. Does it remind you of anything? Yeah, actually, Grandpa, my mom is a doctor, and it, this is just like doing operations, but just up with blood and gut, with no blood and guts. 
Huh. So instead of blood and guts, we've got like capacitors and tubes. That could kill yourself. Exactly. If you work on it with the thing plugged in or if you forget to check things before yes. you work on it. So it's very dangerous. So you've learned quite a bit here in the last hour or so about working on this old stuff, huh? I learned very fast. You know, that's a good thing because what my plan for you and my viewers are probably like this is I want you to take over D-Lab when Grandpa can't do it anymore. So that's why I've been showing you these little things because I'm trying to put all this in your head. And it's going to be my hands and I still have a lot to learn. Yeah, well that's cool. You gotta start somewhere. Somewhere. Right? This is better than messing around with a phone, isn't it? Oh yeah, much <laughs> better. That's good. See, because Grandpa doesn't play with phones. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is this relay is coming out and then this relay system, which is a 5 volt type, is going to replace it. So I'm actually going to mount it upside down like this so that I can gain access to the terminals, right? Then we're going to remove all this new wiring that somebody put in, very lovely. Take all that out and we're going to rewire the push to talk system to work like it's supposed to have where it switches either by this switch or the push to talk input on the back of the radio. So my first step is what, Emmy? Um, your first step is putting this in. Right, but I can't put it in without... Taking the wires out. Exactly. So here we go. So let's test the Valiant after the new push to talk mod has been completed. So as you know, it should key up with the manual switch or the microphone and both of those functions toggle that relay. So we've got the new 5 volt relay in there with its own little power supply. So let's see how she is. So here we are, we're keyed up. Using the manual switch. If I kill that, go with the microphonium now. And let's bring up a little bit of audio. Lots of audio. Let me turn that baby down. Anyway, she's keying up nice and smoothly. I'd call the old push to talk mod a huge success. Now over here you'll see I have a couple wires going to this other terminal board. Those wires right there, that is the 120 supply to the push to talk 6.3 volt transformer which is on top side. I'll take you around there and show you where I mounted that. So the 120 goes into the transformer, 6 volt comes out, goes to the push to talk board which is rectified, filtered, and that keys up your transmitter. So here you are top side on the Valiant. Now normally there would have been a pair of 866 rectifier tubes here but somebody in the past put this little rectifier board in here which appears to work fine. The Valiant tunes up very nicely and smoothly so I'm going to leave that. This here is the new push to talk power transformer and that feeds our little board underneath. I'm going to cut here to the schematic of the board so you can see how it's wired in case you come across a Valiant like this or some other transmitter that you want to add a push to talk system to. So let's take a look at the schematic. You can see it's pretty basic. You have to add your own 6.3 volt filament type transformer. This can be any inexpensive transformer that you can find like a little allied radio type or a little stand core. You don't need a lot of current. You can use a PC mount type 5 volt relay. Just make sure that the contacts are rated for approximately 10 amps so they can handle the abuse of multiple key ups of this old transmitter. The rest of the parts are pretty easily found like the bridge rectifier and the little 100 microfarad cap. You can build this all on a little perf board and integrate it into your radio just like you see in this video. Another success for D-Lab using my little push to talk system. I've integrated this same type system into Viking 2's and Rangers 
in the past. This is the first time that I've had to repair one in a Valiant. But like everything else, eventually components fail. And that push to talk relay is a tough one to find. So I hope this information was of value to you. See you again.